Hey, what's up? This is Jay Lucky Henry. So today we're going to talk about how do you not get swindled by your new tenants, right? You just bought a property and they're trying to trick you into just exactly how much rent they should be paying you. Get ready. They ask me how I know it'll be okay. This is Jay Lucky Henry, Keller Williams agent in the greater Boston area. And I want to help everyone get real. R-E-A-L, Real Estate Explained, amazingly. Bye Lucky, in 90 seconds, give or take. Welcome back, it's Jay Lucky Henry. So congratulations, you just bought a new property, right? And you're trying to figure out how to make sure you don't get swindled by the tenants who really, for me to explain this one, I'm gonna give you an example or a scenario back when you, you know, you were in fifth grade, sixth grade elementary school and Miss Johnson called out sick. So the substitute teaches here. And a substitute comes in and it was homework due, right? There was a quiz due today and some homework and substitute walks in and is like, hey class, and the student's like, ooh, substitute. And it's class like, the substitute's like, so what do we got cooking today, you know? Oh, we were gonna have a paint day. We were gonna draw today. Miss Johnson said she was taking us to the park, right? What you're not gonna tell the substitute is that we had a pop quiz or a quiz planned and we had some homework that we had to turn in, right? That's basically what the estoppel certificate, the certificate of no defense is in real estate. It's that the tenants, don't tell the new landlord, oh, my rent wasn't 2,000, my rent was 500, and I was allowed to have dogs and smoke in my apartment. Yeah, it's, that, that's what the last landlord said. So in order to avoid that, that's what the estoppel certificate is here for. It basically says once you give your word, you cannot go back on what you cause another person to rely on. And why is this super important for investing? Because it allows the investor who's buying it to be certain of the cash flow that they're buying. So if they say, hey, this is 2000 and the tenant agrees, yes, this is 2000 and signs that before the investor takes over, now they know for sure what they're getting into, right? So this is why it's important in real estate. Hope you learned it, hope you got the gist of it, right? It's been real, it's been 90, gotta go. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. This is Jay Lucky Henry, and I'm here to keep it real with you. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, call or text 978-712-0244 and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more.